two letters from Jane. At last. I've been wondering why we had... This one was misdirected at first. No wonder, for she wrote the direction very ill indeed. Would you be very angry if I beg you to postpone our outing? Not at all. Of course you want to read your letters. Your uncle and I will walk to the church and call back for you in an hour. Thank you. You're very kind. My dearest Lizzie, I hope your journey has been as delightful as you anticipated. We all miss you. Our father most of all, I believe. I confess I've hardly had time to write. My nephews and nieces have commandeered almost every moment. But they are such dear children. Our mother, indeed, finds their exuberance a little trying for her nerves. <sighs> Mama. She spends much of the day above stairs in her room or with Mrs Phillips. Oh, dearest Lizzie... Since writing the above, something has occurred of a most unexpected and serious nature. But I am afraid of alarming you. Be assured we are all well. What I have to say relates to poor Lydia. Lydia? An express came at 12 last night, just as we were all gone to bed. was from Colonel Forster to inform us that Lydia was gone off to Scotland with one of his officers to earn the truth with Wickham. Oh, oh Lydia! Oh, Mr. Bernard! We are all broken! <laughs> you will imagine our surprise and shock. To Kitty, however, it does not seem so wholly unexpected. <laughs> I am very, very sorry. So imprudent a match on both sides. But I am willing to hope the best, and that his character has been misunderstood. I wish I could believe it. His choice is disinterested, at least. He must know that our father can give him nothing. Yes, that is true. But how could he do this? She is silly enough for anything. But we can love Lydia. Marry Lydia. There is one lady I should be very loath to part from. We expect them soon. Return from Gretna, man and wife. But I must conclude. I cannot be away from our poor mother long. I shall write again as soon as I have news. My dearest Lizzie, I hardly know what to write, but I have bad news. Imprudent as a marriage would be, we now fear worse. That it has not taken place. That Wickham never intended to marry Lydia at all. Great God, I knew it. I cannot think so ill of him. Oh, again. Oh, poor Lydia. Poor, stupid girl. Colonel Forster said he feared that Wickham was not a man to be trusted. She was then but 15 years old. They were traced as far as Clapham, and to London our father has gone with Colonel Forster to try to discover them. Dearest Lizzie, I cannot help but beg you all to come here as soon as possible. Oh, yes. Where is my uncle? If you please, ma'am. Miss Bennet, I hope this... I beg your pardon. I must find Mr. Garden at this moment. A business that cannot be delayed. I have not an instant to lose. Good God, what is the matter? Of course, I will not detain you for a moment, but let me go, or, or let the servant go and fetch Mr and Mrs Gardner. You are not well. You cannot go yourself. No, I must. Come, I insist. This will be for the best. Hello there. Would you have Mr and Mrs Gardner fetched here at once? They walked in the direction of... The church. The church. Yes, sir. At uh, once. You are not well. Man, I'll call a doctor. No, I am well. I am well. Is there nothing you can take for your present relief? A uh, glass of wine? Can I get you one? Truly, you look very ill. No, I thank you. 
There is nothing the matter with me. I am quite well. I am only distressed by some dreadful news which I've just received. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. No, no. I've just received a letter from Jane with such dreadful news. It cannot be concealed from anyone. My younger sister has left all her friends, has eloped, has thrown herself into the power of Mr. Wickham. They've run away together from Brighton. You know him too well to doubt the rest. She has no money. No connections. Nothing that can tempt him. But I think that I might have prevented it. I, who knew what he was. Had his character been known, this could not have happened. But it is all too late now. I'm grieved indeed. Grieved, shocked. But is it certain, absolutely certain? Oh, yes. They left Brighton together on Sunday night. They were traced as far as London, but not beyond. They are certainly not gone to Scotland. And what has been done? What has been attempted to recover her? My father has gone to London. And Jane writes to beg my uncle's immediate assistance. I hope that we shall leave within half an hour. But what can be done? I know very well that nothing can be done. How is such a man to be worked on? How are they even to be discovered? I have not the smallest hope. She's lost forever and our whole family must partake of her ruin and disgrace. I'm afraid you have long been desiring my absence. This unfortunate affair will, I fear, prevent my sisters having the pleasure of seeing you at Pemberley today. Oh, yes. Be so kind as to apologize for us to Miss Darcy. Say that urgent business calls us home immediately. And if you would be so kind, to conceal the unhappy truth as long as possible. I know that it cannot be long. You may be assured of my secrecy. But I've stayed too long. I shall leave you now. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll never see him again.